Hey guys, Sicklemania. Um, shooting that video after I uh, went ahead and uh, built the bell siphon for the aquaponics system. Um, as you can tell, my water's a little bit cloudy. Um, I went ahead and had to pull out all that uh, pea gravel and uh, made all my water cloudy. Uh, it took me a while to figure out uh, how to build a bell siphon. I built one, I think it was a couple years ago or a year ago. And uh, I just had a lot of troubles with this one, but uh, I was able to get it running really good and uh, figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, basically, uh, I uh, threw on an uh, elbow with a ball valve, I'll tell you why, after I uh, finish explaining how this all works. But uh, there's the bell siphon. As you can see, there is no water in there right now. It is empty. This is all dry, and uh, basically I rearranged the plants a bit, I put the sage back there so it can get a little bit uh, more room once it starts growing. I raised the light up a bit, and uh, basically what we got is we got a 4 inch ABS pipe, black sewer pipe, and uh, I drilled a series of holes in this to uh, basically keep the gravel from getting into this uh, drain that we have going on right there. As you can see, the water's filling up right now. And uh, I'll show you how it works in a second. But uh, let me go ahead and show you guys it filling up and uh, draining. So uh, it is almost to the top where it will start draining down to all the way down to the bottom of this pipe that's here. There it goes. And uh, now it's draining all the way down to uh, the bottom. And uh, basically, all it is is uh, a one inch stand pipe which is uh, just a pipe that's uh, used for draining and there's a bulkhead at the bottom of that. That pipe's about seven inches long. So we got about seven inches of, uh, actually we got about nine inches of rock. And this is an uh, inch and a quarter, or uh, actually this is an inch and a half PVC. Um, as you can see I drilled some holes in there. Nothing pretty, but uh, it's trial and error with this. You, you first start out, I started out with those two big holes right there. It wasn't enough added, and you just keep adding more until you get the right amount of flow. But uh, basically, uh, this hole right here, uh, choose is how I decide where my water stops draining. So my water in the tub drains to about here. Once this sucks in air, it'll break the siphon up here and uh, it'll start filling up the tub all the way until it gets to here and on the other side of this pipe at this level is uh, that pipe and uh, once the water level on the outside of the tub reaches here it creates a vacuum and uh, starts sucking water from down here and uh, starts it all over but uh, basically you just uh, slide that on there and uh, as soon as I put that on there, it should start draining. Yep, it's draining right now. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys uh, what this uh, pipe down here does. And right now that thing's running full bore. So uh, what I had originally was uh, this was off. And I just had it pouring down like this. And uh, I was having a really hard time getting the siphon to start back up every time it filled up. I had to keep lifting up on the uh, bell siphon. Well, I figured out that there was no back pressure here. So what I did is I threw in the 90 and this ball valve in case I needed more of a flow, more back pressure. As you can see, the, the uh, drain has stopped means that this tub's filling up right now and uh, basically I'll show you uh, what happens here 
basically what will happen is this will start out as, at a trickle. Once the water reaches, I'd say right below that cap that's on that uh, bell siphon, this will start to trickle. And once the water level up there in the uh, top of the tub reaches the top of that cap, this will start uh, siphoning through that pipe, through the bottom of it, and it'll probably increase the gallons. I'd say probably like three or 400 more gallons. It drains faster than it would if it was just a normal one inch drain pipe without there. So it kind of acts like a toilet. Um, let's see where this is at. All right, so we're almost to the top, so I'll show you guys this starting out. There it goes, there's the trickle. Basically, it's still filling up inside the tank, and what's going to happen is this water is going to all of a sudden start shooting out. There it goes. And some people, what they do, uh, you can use these for wave makers. If you had like a 50 gallon res above your tank, you could have it pumping into that thing, and then every once in a while, you know, every 12 minutes, 8 minutes, however long it takes to fill and drain, it pour a rush of water in your system, you can kind of have like a random flow in the tank. I kind of came up with an idea to kind of build one of these setups, minus the gravel, put the bell siphon in the back end, and kind of play around with it, but basically make a tank that was like a tide pool. You could put a mangrove tree in here, you could scoop out an area and put in some corals that would... Uh, you know, go from having this much water in there to being all the way full of water. I don't know. It's just an idea. I built one a long time ago on my 10 gallon, and I have no idea why I, I never posted the video on YouTube. But uh, it was pretty cool. But I had a mangrove tree on top of my 10, 10 gallon tank that uh, basically had a uh, bell siphon on it. But uh, that's my bell siphon, and I'm hoping that. Uh, this will help get the oxygen to the roots better. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the problem that I'm having, but uh, I guess time will only tell. Um, I don't know. Hopefully somebody will have some comments out there. I'm going to go ahead and change my lighting schedule to uh, 18 hours. Um, I did hire my light a few inches. And I'm thinking that I could technically have my light probably down right here. But, uh, I don't know. I think the best thing to do would just play it safe. It's 300 watts and just keep it there. But, uh, if anybody else knows another another way to make this better, I'll uh, be more than wel welcome to uh, take the criticism or the comments. Um, let me see if I have a nitrate test kit around here. I haven't tested my nitrates yet. pH, nitrate test solution. Okay, sweet. So I'm running on. Let's go ahead and test my nitrates. Uh, kind of embarrassed to do this right now since I did a test before the video. But uh, basically, I'm going to see what they are. Basically, uh, doing this so you guys and me can get an idea if I do have enough nitrate in the system. Okay, so what do we got? 10 milliliters. Oh, this is 5. The better way to do this is uh, with a uh, syringe. But uh, this will work. So basically, we got our uh, five milliliters of water. Test solution number one. I'll go ahead and shake this up.
going to add 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cap back on. shake this up. This is the nitrate bottle number two. I'm going to shake this up for 30 seconds. I'm going to add 10 drops of this. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to shake this up for a minute. So, so far what I'm seeing right now, let's get this down to a better area. So that also, oh, I pretty much call my nitrates you can kind of see when it disappears and you just put it over the color. I'd say this is about a five. I'd say it's about a six. So that's good, but uh, I don't know. I was hoping maybe I was hoping for up in the tens. It looks like it's getting a little bit darker, and I got about five minutes to test this thing. Let's see. It might be closer to. You know what? I'd say that's probably about 11. I'm going to call that a 12, 13. So sweet. I was hoping my nitrates would be up there. I haven't changed my water at all in, I'd say, I think it's been a week. And I've lost about, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 50 gallons of water. So uh, basically my nitrates have become more concentrated. But, um, as you can tell, the hornwort has definitely been eating up some of that nitrate. And, uh, not so much on the plants. Mainly the sage has been growing the most. But, uh, okay. Well, now that we know that it's about a 13, I like to be around a, t uh, excuse me, a 10. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add some more water. Basically so I can get that tank all cleared up. I'll add probably 20 gallons of water and uh, kind of tone down the nutrients. I don't know, maybe I should just leave them in there. I'd Probably the best thing to do would be leave them in there and let these plants soak it up because uh, right now it's not too high, but uh, I think it'll work. But uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, basically test this a week from now. I'll, add, I'll go ahead and add 20 gallons and then I'll test it. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll shoot a video for that or not, but, uh, yeah. Well, I hope you guys like that bell siphon. Uh, sorry I didn't take any photos while I was building it or a video while I was building it, but uh, basically that's how it works. Um, if anybody has any questions, um, shoot me a, 
a comment on the video and I'll get back to you guys. Um, <clears throat> biggest thing that I realized uh, why it wasn't working was I had zero back pressure. Um, so as soon as I added that 90, uh, it started working. It hasn't stopped not working. So uh, if you guys do build one, I recommend putting a, a, a 90 on there. Another way you could do it is a 90 tilted. You can kind of tilt it. So it's kind of running uphill, and uh, basically, until you choose how fast it's going to start siphoning, basically it helps choose, makes you, it helps choose your water level. So uh, you can do it that way. I just threw a bell valve on there just in case, and it seems to run just fine. I can even turn that bell valve down if I wanted to, but uh, I don't know. It probably takes about four minutes for it to uh, drain, or four minutes to fill up in less than I'd say a minute to drain so uh, it's working really good I think it turned out nice should help uh, the plants uh, if anybody else has any any ideas why else uh, I'm getting a little bit of yellow right here I noticed uh, in the picture the leaves are a bit yellow with uh, dark green spots but uh, like I said my lettuce is quite greenish yellowish but the basil is a real nice dark green so uh, I'm not sure if I'm having problems with just the lettuce and the sage is just getting its color I'm not sure but uh, if anybody knows let me know um, I guess that's it I have that's all I got for my video I will be posting a video of my saltwater vase today um, I just uh, did some fragging in there. Tank's doing really good after dosing. Uh, I noticed a little bit more algae uh, with the new light bulb in there, but my uh, turbo's keeping up with it. And uh, I'll uh, go ahead and shoot that video shortly tonight and hopefully get that posted later tonight. Uh, thanks for all the subscribers. I'm almost to 200 subscribers. Real stoked about that. Um, keep on subscribing. I think I got two more today. And uh, I'll keep updating you guys. Thanks, guys.